assalamu alaikum students how are you as you all know due to the increased number of covid cases jk college will remain closed for some time so now we are shifted from physical mode to the online mode the timetable for uploading the videos has been shared with you people at your whatsapp groups so as you know i teach you social studies so i will upload the videos of social studies as you all know we were we have done the lesson culture and society in our class that is um, the whole lesson is being explained by me and we have also done the question answers so today we will start a new lesson that is land use farming and forests so the first topic of this lesson is this is given on page number 36 in your book this is given on page number 36 in your book page number 36 on your book so let's start the uh, this lesson the first topic of the lesson is soil the agriculture industry of a country depend on the kind of soil and rocks that are found there in some places no rocks can be grown Though no crops can be grown because there is little water and the soil is poor as you know as you all know for agriculture and for farming two things are important one is the amount of water uh, and are um, and the second is the type of soil so it is very important that you must have and when you, where you want to grow the um, um, to do agriculture or to do farming two things are more important one is soil uh, quality soil and the other is uh, the sufficient amount of water so agriculture cannot be done in those places where there is no where there um, there is uh, soil is not good and where there is not sufficient water in some places no rocks can be no crops can be grown because there is little water and the soil is poor another are uh, there is too much water in other places there is too much water and the land gets soaked with water such so, uh, soil is also not our land is also not good for the growth of any uh, <clears throat> anything in other places there is sufficient water in some other places there is sufficient water the soil is rich and fertile and crops can grow well can grow well so it is very important for the growth of of the uh, of any crop that the soil so soil should be rich and fertile and there is sufficient water there is a map given in your book on page number 36 you see this this is a map and there is a key given in your book though this color first green color shows the mountains you see the, these are the mountains of the, on your land then next are the glaciers these are indicated by the this yellowish color so there are only the glaciers are only over here on the land then the third one is deserts so deserts are shown with this light color this pistachio color and these are the deserts given on your land then the fourth one are tidal flats tidal flats uh, are shallow often you see these are shallow often muddy part of sea shore and which are covered and uncovered by the rise and fall of the tides so these are cover sometimes they are covered with tides and sometimes they are uncovered by tides so they can we can see only when they are not covered with tides <coughs> then the last one is rich soils and rich soil is indicated with this greenish color here you can see on the map these are <coughs> these are all rich soils <coughs> so let's uh, discuss all these um, pa parts of land one by one first are mountains you see in the book in the mountains of the north in the mountains of the north there is snow on the ground for most of the year so no crops can be grown when we see in the northern part of our country the mountains are mostly covered with snow 
most um, for most of the year and so no crops can be grown there there are huge glaciers covering the ground in some parts of these areas now huge glaciers means when the snow gets hard they form the glaciers or they form mm, the mountains mm, so of snow so these glaciers cover are uh, in some parts of these areas where there is no snow or ice and if there is no snow or ice in those areas or on the mountains the land is steep and rocky and difficult to farm when there is no snow in some parts of the mountains then the land is very steep and rocky and it is very difficult to do farming on uh, at that place uh, at that places so in the lower valleys between the mountain ranges where there are rivers the soil is usually fertile in the lower valley mostly in the lower part of the valleys are in the lower part in valleys between the mountain ranges where there are rivers where, where there are rivers the soil is usually fertile the most um, in those places the soil is usually fertile these areas are also sheltered from the wind so people have settled here these areas are also sheltered from the wind they are safe uh, from the wind so people can settle here or they can live there compare this map with we will compare it later on with other map given on page number 31 so first today we will complete we will do these topics or i will explain these topics to with to you people so the next are <coughs> there are deserts there are desert desert areas in the east and west of pakistan if you see at your map there are some desert areas at the east and west of pakistan in the west and east uh, part of pakistan we can see the deserts deserts are sandy or rocky and there is little water deserts are mostly sandy and there is very less water or very little water in deserts it is difficult to grow crops in the deserts as obviously when there is less water and the uh, soil is also sandy so we can't grow crops in at uh, in such places but by building canals to take water to these areas parts of the land can be made fertile but we can take water by building canals to those areas or to the deserts so uh, parts of some parts of the land of those land can be made fertile in the south there is the delta of the river indus you see uh, if you see on the map uh, in the in the south there is the delta of the river indus where it joins the sea where that it joins the sea that part will join the sea here the land is very low here the land is low and the river is high the tides flood the land with salty sea water the tides uh, of the f- river flood the land bring uh, with the uh, with the water they bring salty sea water so not much grows here so they all then the land becomes um, due to the salty sea water the land also again becomes not becomes unsuitable for the growth of the plant so so not much grow stay here or not most of the plants can be grown there the most fertile soil is called alluvial soil there are different types of soils and one of the um, type is called alluvial so- soil and that soil is the most fertile soil this kind of soil is found in the plains around the great great rivers mostly this type of soil is uh, found in the plains in the plain areas around the great rivers near the great rivers are uh, around the great rivers when rivers flood and overflow their banks they deposit good soil on the land when the rivers overflow uh, and um, their banks they deposit good soil on the land and so when they overflow and the water comes to the uh, land they also bring uh, dep- good soil to on the land they deposit good soil on the land they bring good soil to the land so the land becomes becomes very uh, suitable for the growth of the uh, 
प्लांट्स आर बाय फॉर द फॉर डूइंग फार्मिंग इन दोज एरियाज नाउ चिल्ड्रन आई थिंक दिस इज एन अफ फॉर टूडे इन शाह इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन द अदर पार्ट्स द रिमेनिंग पार्ट ऑफ द लेसन सो अप टिल दैट टाइम अल्लाह हाफिज यू मस्ट वॉच द वीडियो एंड यू डू द रीडिंग टू टाइम्स एट होम देन आफ्टर द कम्प्लीशन आई विल गिव यू द असाइनमेंट दिस इज योर टू दिस इज द असाइनमेंट फॉर टूडे फॉर यू दैट यू विल रीड द लेस दिस पार्ट विच आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू अप टिल हेयर टू टाइम्स बाई योर सेल्फ एंड देन यू विल understand it easily so thank you children inshallah i will upload the next video a day after tomorrow i think allah hafiz